Hey there, today we're reviewing Ben and Jerry's cookie, chocolate chip cookie dough and creamery oat chip dough. So first off, the main thing that I wanna point out currently is both of these scoops of ice cream have been out of the freezer for several minutes. And you know it's good quality when the ice cream is intact and there's no melty drips. So bravo Ben and & Jerry's and bravo Creamery because both are not melting. I mean, they clearly are, but they're at a good point right now. Something else is that Ben & Jerry's, you have a beautiful white color of your ice cream and then you have the chocolate chips in there and the cookie dough. And so it's, it's kind of a very standard cookie dough where you just have the basics. And with Creamery, our cookie dough is actually different. We use oat flour, so you have a really nice texture in here, and also chopped up chocolate chunks, and a fudge sauce in here. So a lot more elements, a lot more texture in this one, versus the smooth, very classic look of this one. So now why don't we go through and try them? First, we'll start with Ben and & Jerry's. And I'm gonna go straight for this cookie dough right here. So, it's good. Ben & Jerry's is a favorite for many, many, many people for good reason. They have good ice cream, they have fun flavors and add-ins, and their cookie dough it's very yummy. It's sweet, which is common. There is definitely a texture in the cookie dough, like the butter and the sugar granules together. When you eat cookie dough, you, you, you feel that on your tongue and you can hear it as you chew into it. It does, I mean, these have been out for several minutes, and this does melt pretty quick on my tongue. Uh-huh. I didn't do anything right there, and it just melted into my mouth. It coats my mouth a little bit, but not fully. It's good, though. I could just eat a, this whole scoop and probably a pint of chocolate chip cookie dough and be totally satisfied with Ben & Jerry's. Okay, now we'll do creamery. Ooh, I love all that texture. Mm-hmm. So, first off, you get really great texture with the oat cookie dough. You have some of the oats. Everything is, it's an oat powder, but you still get some oat flakes in the cookie dough, which is a really nice um, difference than a regular cookie dough. So the melting point part in this ice cream as well, it melted almost at the same rate as Ben & Jerry's. However, it had more of a buttery melt with it versus this one, it's kind of was like a watery melt. And I think that there probably are different fat contents in these ice cream. Um, I don't know the percentage of Ben & Jerry's butter fat content and technically I don't know the percentage of creamery's butterfat content but it does feel as if this one has a higher oops butterfat in it I love the chocolate fudge in here it's so great and also actually the sweetness is different Ben and Jerry's is it's sweet and 
Creamery is definitely not as sweet as Ben and Jerry's. There's, there's salt in the cookie dough, in the oat dough, and there's also salt in the fudge sauce. So it really cuts through the sweetness, but also enhances the flavor of the ice cream. So you're not just getting this shocking sweetness on your tongue. So if you look at these, again, having, having eaten some, you can still tell that the melting in here, they are pretty equal, which is awesome. I like that. Pretty, pretty equal. Great texture really on both of them in here. And I'm satisfied for different reasons with both of them. And I kind of think it depends on where you land, which type of cookie dough you prefer or what you try something very classic like Ben and Jerry's or something a little more contemporary like Creamery. Do you want the classic normal cookie dough chunks in your ice cream or would you like a different type of cookie dough with a lot of texture and do you want a really sweet ice cream that is good, clearly? Or do you want something a little different that cuts through some of that sweetness? It's fun to experiment and to see the differences between these ice creams. Both are really good and, and both will do well, really, and does well, clearly. So in conclusion, I don't think that either one wins best ice cream category. I think they're both really wonderful in their own lanes. My preference is clearly creamery and I am biased there because it's mine. But what I, what is important to me is the density of the ice cream. As I eat this one again, these have been out for a little bit. This one melts really quickly when I put it on my tongue. This one it doesn't melt as fast and I'm still able to chew it even though it's been out several minutes now. And I I love the richness of creamer and ice cream. It is rich, it is creamy, it is dense. It's not as sweet as many ice creams on the market. And to me, that is important. But I would still get Ben and Jerry's in a pinch if I didn't have on hand and I was craving a chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. If you want to learn how to make creamery ice cream, make ice cream at home for yourself, then you can go to creamery.co and learn my techniques, and learn some of the science behind ice cream, what makes mine different than others. And you can start to experiment with flavors in your own home and really making ice cream fun and exciting for you and gain some knowledge along the way. For more stories and reviews and content like this, please subscribe to our channel. Bye.